Dallas Buyers Club, and everybody is talking about this film. Uh, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing story. Thanks. Uh, Matthew McConaughey uh, playing a character who's who has AIDS, and he has yeah. for that role he lost an incredible amount of weight. Yeah. For this role, you went through your own transformation. You yeah. play a transsexual. Sure. Yeah. In the movie. Yeah. And uh, I think we have a, a photograph here of you from the movie and. I was curious, like when you went through this process, and you're excellent in the movie, you do a fantastic job. When you first went through that transformation and saw yourself as a woman, what was your reaction? Wow, it was, uh, it was intense. I mean, I lost between 30 and 40 pounds, um, was wearing high heels every day, and of course, as you can see, tons of uh, other things as well. I waxed my entire body, my eyebrows included, but it was kind of nice. It was a period piece, so I didn't have to do Brazilian, you know? <laughs> That's right, it takes place in, it's 86, 1986. Yeah, not so. exactly a 70s bush, but, you know. <laughs> so you, you had your whole body wax. How did it feel to become, you know, I mean, they must have, you must have it was felt a, very different. I did feel very different, and uh, I was in character the entire time that we were shooting. Uh, so I really got to live in the skin of this beautiful creature, Rayon, and I really fell in love with her. I mean, she's the most amazing uh, person full of life and charm and uh, uh, grace and, and also addicted to drugs and dying of AIDS. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an absolutely beautiful story. The, um, did you find, because you said you were in character the yeah. whole time, so you're walking around the set as a woman. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you feel that people treated you differently? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. It's funny, as I look around the set and see some of the guys working here, it was always like the biggest, toughest guy who was the first to offer his hand to me. Or Oh, to like they open doors for you? Yeah, or, ask yes. me to dinner or stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> What the hell was that guy? <laughs> I had, uh... <clears throat> yeah. Hey, bro. So yeah, exactly. Uh, wow. Well, you, um, you actually, we have, I think we have a, a, a picture of you. Uh, you spent some time with your mom as the character. That must have been a strange yeah. situation. We have a photo here of your mom and you as the character. Yeah. It's funny because you bear a resemblance to your mom. Is that, <laughs> I do. Isn't that crazy? It's I weird. Do. She's much more beautiful than I yeah. am in the photo. I, obviously, I was very thin and very sick mm -hmm. uh, looking at that time. I remember there was, there was one time I, at the end of the night, you, I was wearing prosthetics, cancer sores all over my body. Sometimes makeup would take eight hours or, right. or longer, but uh, there was one night where I had washed off the makeup, and I, I thought, I looked, I, said, I didn't do a very good job. I washed it again, and then I washed it again, and I realized that it was me, and I was starting to look... Uh, you know, like, like a wreck. Uh, so it was a very intense role and very challenging, but worth it. The clip we're gonna show right now, I believe uh, this is a scene. With me uh, talking to Jennifer That's Gardner, right. who Jennifer plays Garner. Eve, who's yep. amazing in the amazing film. Amazing doctor in the film. Yep. And uh, let's take a look. Now, I, I know that you don't like to watch yourself. I've actually never seen the film and I haven't seen myself in the film. And I are you uncomfortable watching yourself? I, I, was, I actually requested a sleeping bag or a small tent that I could climb into so I didn't have to watch this right Right now, uh, I can put I probably, my coat over your head. Yeah, can you do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You just this is the over. first time ever in in late night his. Oh, <laughs> what's? Look at this clip from Dallas Buyers Club. Let's check it out. Do you like this dress? Because I think the neckline's a little plunging. Rayon. The whole purpose of this study is to determine if ACT is helping people. Come on, Evie, you know there ain't no help in me. No, it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying. Why are you so good to me? Bless your little heart. Just promise me you'll show up for the rest of the trial. I promise you that I will try my very best. I want you to mean it. 